Hello to all my friends out there. I hope everyone is doing okay. I hope everyone is staying safe. So when I um, started this video, I just wanted to get my uh, grandmother's recipes out there. Because I knew it would be helpful if a person didn't have very much money. But um, I was thinking, actually, what is more productive is when I make stuff to show you what I do, how I do it, and when I was a kid, I used to love to hang out in the kitchen with my grandmothers and aunts, and what we would be doing is we would be talking, and we could be, we would be hanging out, and then, you know, later, it's like when you have friends, you can, you know, hang out, and you learn stuff from your friends. You pick up their stuff, they pick up your stuff. Well, now we have YouTube, and now I have a lot of friends, and it is awesome. Um, this is four cups tea, and I had a mason jar, and I squeezed one half lemon uh, into it. But I could also cut this up in little pieces and cover it with water and put a pinch of cream of tartar and boil it down till I saw that lemon oil on top and drink it down. So um, my son and I were talking about President Trump's uh, comment and uh, what it really was was brainstorming and you know the and what you do is you just think of anything and everything and and it's like problem solution yeah you're going to come up with problems that are not are solutions that are not possible but in time you will come up with solutions much faster so now what i'm making is i'm making a basque shepherd's pie and this is actually a pioneer recipe Let me give it to you. I'm making my own version, you know, whatever I have in the house. Okay, so four slices of bacon. I use two slices of bacon ends. Three medium potatoes. You can make as much as you want. Uh, green onions, uh, parsley, salt, dried thyme, dash of pepper, eggs, and milk. So it's going to be like a scramble. Well, let me read this to you. Um, you know, there was a lot of immigrants, uh, Asian immigrants as well, that uh, came west. Uh, my grandfather worked on the highway, and there's lots of Asians. It wasn't just the gold miners and the pioneers. Most Basque came to the west from the mountains between Spain and France in answer to a call from American sheep ranchers for herders. The lonely, rigorous existence of a shepherd did not appeal to most Americans, but it was a traditional way of life for the Basques. Since there were were men often, since these men were often spent months in the mountains with their sheep, the foods that they had had to be hearty and uncomplicated. Recipes like Basque's shepherd pie were repaired, prepared by many a herder forced to cook for himself. Yeah, I could see men making this. I could see women making this too once they get the recipe. Okay, so now. Thank you very much for the cutting board, Francis. I think I use it just about every day and I really, really, uh, ooh, my potatoes look good. Look at my potatoes. Okay, so now, here is my bacon ends, so I'll just chop them up because I'm going to need them in a minute here. So I want to make these videos like you guys, like we're, we're friends and we're hanging out in the kitchen. Furthermore, it can be pretty lonely sitting in your house all by yourself watching Netflix. And I'm not complaining because I am watching some good stuff on there. I'm not getting anything done, but that's okay because right now is a time of stress. And, you know, it, it reduces my stress and, and I'm enjoying myself. Oh, and there was some awesome comments. Okay, no. So there's my bacon ends. 
I'm just making two. Now this is going to make a lot. So I have my uh, cart. I bought this as a dented can. 50% off. And I mixed it with half water so I can have a little um, milk in my eggs. Could be powdered milk. It could be any milk. So, you know, we want to learn these ways now just in case, you know, things go on and on, which very well could. Or the American people could be really responsible and good, and this could be over sooner. Uh, I think it's going to be a combination of both. I think some people are going to be reasonable and, and are going to survive. And, and, I, and some people are going to be unreasonable and survive, but some people might not survive. So, you know, you never know if you are the one who can withstand the coronavirus. Okay, so I have my, and so I fried these in the bacon grease. But if you, if you, um, if you have too much bacon grease, Okay, so it's supposed to be time, and I couldn't find mine, so I, I bought these, uh, not too much, but I bought this um, herbs at the 99 cent store, uh, garlic and parsley, and somebody told me it's mostly salt. So I won't add salt. I, I'm going to add a few chives. I really don't need them because I have... Uh, I switched to red onions. I think they're more versatile. They're better in the salads and parsley. All right. And then, this is kind of like a frittata. Okay, so there is that. I think I'm heading in a good direction here. I think I'm just going to scramble mine instead of trying to flip it around. Okay, so you can see that is looking good. Now back over here. Okay, now I want to show you something. Okay, I went to Albertsons. And I bought three packages of bacon ends, and I will find a way to fit them in my freezer. Okay, now the bacon ends can be fatty, so I just save this to use like shortening. And then if there's pieces like this, I use them in my beans. So if, if you have to eat beans, this all this uh, bacon fat is really going to help you to get there. And then uh, the pork sausage was a little bit um, depleted, so I bought eight. So as not to be a resource hog. Okay, so try to stock up on your, um, your pork. Like chorizo. Did you ever think that we would be shortage on... Um, on top ramen, same thing with pork. Okay, now I want to mention a few great comments. Okay, Jessica, thank you, Jessica. You can find Scarface on YouTube, and I will find it. And then I'm watching on Netflix, How to Fix a Drug Scandal. That is good because it's four parts, and Code 8, and I am enjoying both. I never watch movies, so, you know, it doesn't take much to make me happy. Okay, this is a super, you know, back to the vitamin C thing. Bonnie Dunbar cranberry juice. I thought, yeah, that's good. I have some, but I will get more. Uh, Melissa, I can't read my own writing. Peter, grind oats and add to flour to fortify your white flour. I thought that was a good one. Okay, Cra Kathy's Crazy Life. Notice I wrote these in my notebooks. I will get to them all, you guys. We might get meat shortage. Store canned meats, meats, meat substitute, eggs, beans, and peanut butter. Um, we did have sort of an egg shortage of sorts. 
and uh, I couldn't find any eggs, not just, you know, uh, where they say, okay, you can only have one. I, I couldn't find any, nothing. And I finally got eggs at 7-Eleven. If you're on a very low income, if you can make bread on the cheap and you have eggs and you have potatoes like this, you're probably going to be okay. So now, let's see what happened. So how you guys talk back to me is in the comments. And what is really good is the other uh, followers read the comments. And you don't know who you could help. You really don't. Okay, and then I stockpiled some uh, salsa to have on my eggs. Now let me taste this. I mean, if all the, you know, these recipes that come down through the time, you know they're going to be good. So, let's see. The tomatoes are really, really going to help you guys. Okay, take a look at this tasty meal. Okay, okay. Okay, so now what I've been working on is problem solutions. So when uh, President Trump was talking about solutions to the uh, COVID virus, one of the brainstorming was how to get the disinfectant into the body. Well, there's a way, and it's a Bible way, and a lot of us, you know, say the Bible way is the only way. Okay. Mm. A lot of people, not everybody, believe that Alexander the Great was given superhuman power to um, conquer in that time all of the known world and basically by doing that spread Christianity all over the world and what he did was he put um, vinegar in the drinking water uh, to protect the t to protect the troops from the foreign diseases so what we have on our hands is a foreign disease so if we eat our vinegar and our salad dressing on our spinach we can put it in our water it's not going to hurt us we can boil our water go to my twitter i posted how to disinfect water one of the um now this is scary one of the symptoms of diarrhea i mean of the COVID is diarrhea two of the ways you could get diarrhea is dysentery which probably comes from food or unsanitary uh, food handling with fecal matter or um, malnutrition. And I was watching this video and the guy kept going, more people will die from diarrhea than the COVID. More people, and he kept saying it and saying it and saying it. And I go, wow, you, what do you... Okay, so be on the lookout for that and get medical treatment if you should get it. Problem solution. Drink bottled water. That's safer. I can refill my water. But um, down through the times, people would boil the water and, and they say, well, that's not going to get the heavy metals out. Well, it just might get the uh, dysentery germs out. So don't be resistant and don't be, you know, I don't want to say stupid, but carefully consider this stuff. Okay, now for the no food. I think it was a miracle. I made four cups of tea. Mint tea, my other favorite. Uh, that gives me enough tea for about two days. Okay. A girl, she was a girl. She went to Mexico to live in a polygamy compound. She got down there and no work. Does that sound like anybody we might possibly know? No work? Her husband ran up to America to get some work, and she was left down in Mexico, and they were getting by as best they can. One day, an old man that she had never met before came up to her and said, Ma'am, your daughter is starving. Uh, you know, I have seen a lot of starvation in America. I can see it when I look in their eyes, but 
if you've been around it. Okay, so now he gave her a bag of beans, a bag of rice, and some vegetables, and told her to plant a garden, and she did, and she survived. So now, beans and rice and vegetables, canned and plant a garden. Save all the seeds out of your food. I planted uh, tomatoes out of my um, tomatoes. You know, I just took some seeds, and a lot of them sprouted, and I noticed that the leaves are very pale. I'm thinking, yeah, hot house tomatoes, that's why. If you have a little yard or a little ba balcony, get some dirt wherever you can. Get some seeds wherever you can and start trying. Now, this is like my second and third year. Grow your um, vegetables by a window. You know, do what you have to do. Okay, now for the bread baking. All right, now. I made bread yesterday. Where is my bread? And it was coming out good. Really good. But something has occurred to me. Uh, my bacon ends are taking up all the space in my darn refrigerator. All right. And I save my, my bread in the refrigerator, but if I don't eat it today, which it probably will, one sandwich will take care of this. And uh, I'm making some more uh, bread out of a little piece of dough. Let me see if there's any bubbles. Okay, this is what it starts to look like. And then it takes quite a while for this to, uh, you have to keep it in a warm uh, place. So what I do, can you see that? What I do is if it starts getting cold, I just turn my little pan on for a couple of minutes. But it occurred to me that my bread making was not better than, where is it? This is really kind of important. Okay, my bread baking was not better than uh, the Pioneer bread that I got on the video, and I will tell you why in a minute, if I can. Oh, I tore some of the pages out to make them easier to find, and I forgot that I did that. All right, where is that? Here's my, my version, and so you can use this the next day. This is my version of the superior version. This goes to problem solution. This is like one of the most important things of the entire video, so I kind of have to watch to find this. All right, I found it. Go to this video and write it in your notebook. Okay, what is so good about this video and so darn important or any sourdough starter, you can save the liquid off the top and you can drink it like alcohol. So now why is that important? Well, if you're a drug addict or an alcoholic and you don't have any drugs or alcohol, this is gonna be better than spending the money that should be uh, spent on uh, food for the kids. So from here on out, you're going to have alcohol on top of your uh, bread, you have to have potatoes. Make sure you go to this video and you're going to save that because you could make beer bread. So you might be saying that is not important. Well, yeah, that is important if, if you need alcohol. 
Uh, people don't always think about that. I, I had a drinking problem. I didn't think about that. I thought about work three jobs and make sure I always have money. This is good. You gotta make this. Okay, now, Americans. George Washington defeated the Brit British against all odds. George Washington defeated the British against all odds in the Revolutionary War. While he lost more battles than he won, Washington employed a winning strategy, a lot of people say he was a genius, that included victories at Battle of Trenton and, and Yorktown. Uh, Christopher Newsom, the, go uh, Newsom, the governor of California, is doing a very good job, too. Now, if the people of California don't um, social distance, if there is a drastic second wave and if you overwhelm the health care available, uh, basically, let's just say you will die. Okay, now, what do we have here? This is a tasty batch of thumbprint cookies. And what I did was I used my um, peach uh, cooked fruit that I made yesterday. You can just eat it. You can eat it on homemade yogurt, so a little bit goes a long way. And I will freeze the rest if I... <gasps> well, I will freeze the rest minus one. Shoot. Okay, so, now, here's the thumbprint cookie recipe. What's good about this is you don't have to use up your soda or any of your um, baking powder. And you might need that for bread making or alcohol making. No, just kidding. Okay, now, I want to give you guys this meatball recipe. So what you do is you swap out. Go to this. I don't know. She's like me. She has very few followers. I, I don't think people are seeing the value of what she's saying sometimes but what she's doing here is she's using salt instead of parmesan cheese and then she's drizzling the top of the meatloafs with um tomato sauce now that's going to give you a tiny bit of, of vitamin c and then she's putting grated mozzarella cheese on the top now i was able to go to uh, dollar tree this week uh, and I was able to get five of these for a dollar and five cheddar. And then if you can stockpile, you could use this instead if you don't have mozzarella. All right, now. I save every bit of margarine. I don't care how beat up it is. And what I started doing, this is the fat off my meat because in a really bad recession you might not have oil so what i'm doing is here's some and i will put it in the bag and i this is the one i just made so that i'm always going to have uh these meat drippings for my um beans if i need to eat beans god forbid okay last night i used my tomato sauce this is really a mess over here I had tomatoes left, you know, canned tomatoes, and I used my tomato juice to make my beans. And so what I could do is I could grind the rest and make tomato soup. This is good. It doesn't sound good. You can put a little sugar if you want. Or I can make a little batch of chili. Okay. So, no. This is important. All right, where is that? I saved some of the most important parts to the end in case you guys don't watch until the end. Write this in your notebook. This is why you need pork. 
you can see how you can get by on this. You have flour for bread. You have rice. There's, you have beans. And you have some meat fat and you have some coffee. Now, so the same foods. Now, uh, I bought lots of um, cornmeal because that's going to round out your, um, your beans and rice to make a complete protein. And notice this. You can also use your vinegar, mix half and half with a detergent, and it will really get your shower clean. However, I do not suggest doing that because yesterday, yes, no dishwasher, dishwashing detergent. There was six, I bought three, so as not to be selfish. And then I don't remember if this was on the list or if I added this. Dried apples, raisins, cheese, onions, and potatoes. Okay, so now back to the brainstorming. So my, I, my son wanted to kill me, but I insisted on discussing this. What if someone gets in here? How am I going to protect my food? And we went on and on. We could do this, we could do that, we could do this, that, blah, 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 blah. I'm sure I gave him a terrible headache. And finally, I came up with a very, very easy solution that is not expensive. So that is how, when you're doing the brainstorming, it can really save your, um, save you. Okay, now what I told my son is I'm not totally heartless. I will leave a little uh, food, but I don't want somebody coming in here and ripping off my big bags of food. So problem, brainstorm, solution. So now the UV lights. Okay, the UV lights are, are really good for disinfecting tools and such. We used to do that in the salon. So I'm thinking on how to get the disinfecting inside of me, which the best one is the vinegar. Just go with that one. Also boiling your water, but check out that. Uh, so another thing is do not solve problems that have already been solved. Here is the solution right here to uh, starvation. This will get you by in a pinch. Um, I heard, I, I can't remember, it was in South America, the beans were up to $40 a bag, and I wouldn't doubt it. No alcohol, no bread. Well, you're gonna go to uh, you're gonna go to that video, and you're gonna learn how to do that. And then find cheaper alternatives to everything. Okay, you guys, I'm looking forward to your um, comments. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Stay safe. Stay out of crowds. I wouldn't see this thing letting up for two years. A lot of people think that is excessive, but um, I think, you know, and so it would be the air you breathe. Now, where would you get this poisonous air? This was a prophecy. Well, you would get it in a big crowd. That's where there would be a lot of people breathing the air. There would be a lot of people contaminating the air. Don't do it. Water, contaminated water. The best solution is bottled water. And the best water, in my opinion, is Arrowhead. And then food. Okay, the best food that's the least likely to be contaminated is your own food, because you know how old it is. But if there's places that are, um, are trustworthy, yes, I would consider getting the food to go. Not to eat there, forget it. And not to eat on their silverware. Although most of them have the heavy-duty uh, dishwashers. And most of them know if it starts cropping up in your uh, restaurant, you're going to be toast. Nobody's going to eat there. There are certain restaurants you cannot trust. I think McDonald's has been, you got to make this cooked fruit. Okay, you guys, God bless you all.